Hi, the Joy for Yogini here. Happy Friday! It's time for your weekend reading. I just started shuffling the cards. One has already come out. I'll tell you what that is in a second. But basically, I'm pulling some cards to be relevant for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So what do we need to assist us with this beautiful weekend energy? Oh my goodness, four cards want to come out today. All right, here we go. Glasses on. Check. All right, so the first card that came out is Tiger's Eye. Overcome your fears. So where has fear been coming up in your life? And I want you to know that fear is an illusion. Yet fear is telling you something, right? It's giving you a message. So in what area of your life have you been getting the message of fear? Is there something preventing you from being all that you can be? Or is is the emotion that is coming up simply giving you the message that this is not the best choice for you? Or is your heart singing at the same time? I think that's really important. I know, it, am I creating more confusion? But if your heart sings, if you have an excitement, yeah, it's a little scary at the same time, that could be a fear that you need to overcome. So let's see what the other cards have to say and then we can piece this all together. So that was the first card, fear. And the next one is Unikite. Live in the now live in the now. So this weekend, I want you to follow your heart's desire. What do you want to do? So yeah, you can have a list of maybe things that you want to get accomplished this weekend. Sure. And you can be crossing some of those off, but be, I keep on eating my hair, <laughs> but be ready to maybe push some of that aside, maybe just temporarily. So you can go on an adventure. Maybe you're going to go for a nice bike ride, a nice walk. Maybe you're going to head out to the beach, um, head out on the trails, play some cards with the family, all of a sudden decide to have a barbecue and maybe invite a neighbor or two over just so you can socialize and uh, safely, right? We're still, we're still, we're still being safe. Um, but anyway, so, th so that's the next card. So let's see what else comes up here. Okay. The next one is Moonstone. Oh, that's what I'm wearing. That is a Moonstone. Okay, live your purpose. So what is your purpose? You know, we're, we're, we're getting the message to overcome fears. We're getting the message to live in the now and now to live your purpose. It's all interconnected. Living your purpose is following your heart. It's doing what makes your heart sing. It's listening to those inner desires, that inner passion that you have, and, and moving forward in that. All of those are signs of what makes you tick. And when you allow yourself to tick, you know, when you allow yourself to be fulfilled in a way that creates balance, right? You need to be fulfilled in a way that creates balance in all areas of your life. That aligns you with your soul's purpose because your purpose is to be you. Your purpose is to spread your light, to live in your joy. And when you do that, you radiate beauty, you radiate light and you affect everyone around you. And when you're in that place, you're, you're in a place where you can utilize your amazing gifts and your skills. You're in the flow. You got your balance going on. You got your mojo on. Okay, so this last card is Lapis Lazuli. Make a decision. Make a decision. So what are you going to do? <laughs> what do you want to do when you're thinking about your life's purpose? Maybe you're thinking about your career in particular. I'm a Kathy. So career is always the first thing that comes up. Um, but, and for you, it might not be the first thing that comes up. You know, maybe, maybe you're needing to make a decision about family right now. Maybe you're needing to make a deci decision about your health right now, where you're going to live. All of that is, is so incredibly important because when in those areas, if you make the decision that fuels your heart, that makes your heart sing, you're in alignment. 
So just make that decision. And if you've been toying with this decision or this decision, you're like, oh, I don't know what, this one would be the smart thing to do. Like logically get the heck out of your head. Because if you just focus on the logical thing and what other people want or what should you should do, what's the right thing to do, get out of the right or wrong. Cause you know what the right thing is what is going to make you happy and fulfilled. So I, you know, make sure you're, you're living in the now, but I might even take some time to maybe do a little bit of journaling. If you're in that place of what do I do? And you really want to make a decision. Now you don't necessarily have to, I got a mosquito bite up here a little bit. You don't, for all of us, it's not necessarily this weekend. I got to make a decision. That's not necessarily going to be that because some, there's some of you out there that still has some missing information, but you're going to get to a new level of understanding of yourself this weekend by acknowledging that. And maybe the decision is simply I'm choosing me, right? I'm choosing me to move forward. So I hope you can make tonight's Friday night party. It's every Friday night, 8 PM Eastern daylight time. So 8 PM, which is Toronto time. And uh, tonight the theme is spice up your sex life. We're going to have some fun with that. So you can bring your own suggestions, things that have been working for you and, and share that. And I'll be sharing uh, some fun information as well. We're going to have fun. So that is live on YouTube and live on Twitch. I hope you can see it there. And if you're interested in a one-on-one channel reading and healing session with me, or you want to join one of my group yoga classes, or maybe you're interested in a one-on-one yoga, you can also send me a, D a DM from my light to your beautiful light. Namaste. Have a great day, everyone. Happy weekend.